Shot by Joe Cannon, hits the very butt of the post and back out. And Jonathan Glynn, you know, he had time to pick the ball again. He lost possession and the ball down the field. And that's a great score by Killian Buckley, a young player from the middle of the field. And he's done very well today. Well, there's no time for Galway to feel sorry for themselves. They've got plenty of time to do something about the scoreline. Tommy Welch trying to get the ball out. He was uh, felled after he played it away. And James McGrath goes in quickly, checks with his linesman over there, Barry Kelly. Another West Smith man to see whether he got a better view of what happened. But there was, I think, a late challenge there on Tommy Welsh and the uh, player who's got to be spoken to. It's a red card for Cyril Donnelly. Yeah, I think the hurl was swung back. And it was Barry Kelly who called it, now the linesman called it, he was right beside it. But you can see, is the JJ Delaney coming off, his head is split here, he's jogging off there and... Let's have a look at it again, 49 it. minutes in. Yeah, he swung straight across the head. JJ Delaney was holding him back a bit and he swung back and hit him, yeah, and JJ's gone off there with a head injury as well. So Galway lose a man, they are four points behind and Noel Hickey is going to come on as a temporary sub, I imagine, wearing number 17. So Noel Hickey, one of those hoping to collect a medal here today, which would be his ninth, watching as Richie Parr takes it in his stride and flawlessly glides it over the bar. He's got a goal and two points now, Richie trying to emulate what his dad has done before and pick up yet another All-Ireland medal here. His dad, Richie Senior, was a star in the 80s, and Richie's starring here, and it's 115 to 27. It's 15 against 14 as well, of course. Yeah, that's a great catch, and what a turnaround. You know, the pressure has been on Richie. He hasn't played well since the Dublin game, the first round of the championship, by his huge high standards, but he's having a super game today. And back to Cyril Donnellan there, you know, he was frustrated, but you can't just swing the hurl like that across in the head area, and uh, JJ Dane looked at, picked up the nasty of head injury, and I don't think the referee had any choice but to issue the straight red card. Just remember, he first uh, man to be sent over to the and hurling final, I think, since 1996, Wexford v Limerick, was it? Benny Dunn was sent off, yeah, yeah, and yes. then... Not nice to see Galway having to uh, play the last 21 minutes without the full complement. Richard Parr got to stand over this one and take it quickly in as far as Michael Fennelly. From 50 metres out, Michael Fennelly now playing with a lot of confidence and it's very much advantaged the Cats as they go in search of another All-Ireland and they lead by six. Yeah, Jerry. now both midfielders and all six forwards from Kilkenny have all scored from play, you know, which is a huge difference too from uh, Galway. Andy Smith has got a point from play and that's it. Uh, you know, the two goals from David Burke and freeze the line ball and and a 65 from Joe Canning. And well, they're not, just not able to score points from open play. They'll rue the uh, missed opportunity there where Joe Canning's shot came off the post. They're under pressure here again now with Johnny Cohen. Going back in difficulty with Richie Hogan there. Cohen in the yellow helmet. Walter Welch, the big man, coming in to help out his number nine who's playing full forward. And a real pile up there because Fergal Moore's there as well, and the referee is surely going to have to throw the ball in back out of the 20 meter line. How a game can turn around. Kilkenny did uh, most of the hurling in the first half under a lot of pressure in the opening 10 minutes or so of this, but then a goal disallowed, a shot that comes off the post, a man sent off, and now it's very much looking like the Cats. Do Galway have a response? They certainly have the time. Yeah, well, you'd have to say, can Kenny have it the better team? But as you say, you know, Galway will feel very hard done by over Cyril Donnellan's goal. And then Joe Cannon hitting the post, you can do nothing about that. And the sending off, you know, it's unfortunate. I feel sorry for Cyril Donnellan because he's a very sporting player. Um, but the ref had no choice there. And now, look, at the, Kenny seem to be just turning the screw now, gone six points ahead. Back once again come Kilkenny. TJ Reid couldn't take it in his stride, but it comes back out here. And that is Walter Welch. He's got three points. Well, I was talking to Eddie Kerr yesterday about his debut in a replay back in 1959. He came on as a sub that day, he told me. Walter started, and he's got three against Anthony Cunningham's team. And Anthony Cunningham making another change now with Connor Cooney coming on, and the player is going off is Niall Burke. Scored a goal and two points in the uh, last match, Niall Burke. Nothing today. Virgil Flannery talking it out caught here in the middle of the field by Michael Fennelly on as far as TJ Reid and Galway needing the next couple of scores here they need to keep Kilkenny at bay and begin the recovery David Collins pursued there by Walter Welch 
back it comes once again here to David Collins. Big, huge one up there, but uh, that's where Kilkenny have the extra man. And it's Paul Murphy, who has nobody to mark right now, playing it way back down again, taken by the other number two, Johnny Cohen. Slipping it carefully in here as far as Johnny Glynn. Back into the centre here as far as Joseph Cooney, breaking the challenge there of Tommy Welch. And Cooney, like his dad before him, hitting it in, but not with the same kind of success. His dad will be remembered from the 1990 final. He got a goal and three in the first half of that. Absolutely started that match, but Galway didn't win. Yeah, and look, Jerry, it's very hard to see a way back for Galway now. They're seven points down. As you said, you know, Kilkenny have the luxury now of just leaving Tall Murphy free on the 21. And unless they're able to knock points over from distance, they've no way back into this and just not able to get those scores. So, you know, you just have to hope that they can in some way get back into Kilkenny playing very, very well at the moment. TJ Reid, Andy Smith's after him, and Smith has caught him. And that's got to be a free in. And uh, straight away, Henry Shefflin went over to TJ Reid, clapped him on the back and said, well done. It's another free in. All these important little battles won, inch by inch, Kilkenny heading towards victory. And it's interesting today, Michael, that Earl Tanya and Andy Smith have not exerted that big influence, in particular Tanya, that they had three weeks ago. No, to happened. Uh, you know, Brian Cody will be a genius again now. You know, Killian Buckley doing very, very well. And... And as you mentioned, Walter Walter, what a final he's had, what a debut, uh, you know, to come in an Ireland final and it's completely outplayed Johnny Cohen. And, you know, but you saw there, that's a silly free for Andy Smith. Uh, TJ Reid had no hurl, Tony Regan was covering and give away another point now to Henry Sheffield. Target practice for Henry with 15 minutes to go and up and over, seven points now for Henry Sheffield, the man who is on the threshold of history. He will be the first man to win nine All-Ireland medals out on the field of play. It's never been done before. They win all of them out on the field of play. Virgil Flannery goes short. Tanyan fumbles, fortunate to get it back. Went, I thought, of Henry Shefflin, but no, the linesman, John Sexton, thinks otherwise that it's going to be a line ball to Kilkenny. This will be taken by TJ Reid. Yeah, might be a little bit far out. He's, he's actually excellent at ease. Real natural hurler, I always think, TJ Reid. Cuts it well, provides the service inside. Galway there in numbers. Coming out here is Kevin Hines. Hand passed forward as far as Andy Smith. Got a point earlier on. And what a piece of defending that was by Michael Fennelly. Just rejected, just saying to Andy Smith, thus far shall they go and absolutely no further. This was brilliantly done by Fennelly. Have a look at this again. Bang, way you go. Yeah, excellent timing there, and Michael Fennelly a lot stronger there. Still probably not at his best, but a lot better than he was the last time. This is out again as far as Richie Power. Chasing after him, Damian Hayes trying to hook him. Did enough. Tony O'Gregan from 65 metres out from his own goal. This would be a good point if it goes over. It's a great score. It's his first point in this year's championship. And Tony O'Gregan gets it back to a seven-point difference once again, 118-2-8. to Yeah, brilliant score by Tony O'Gregan, you know, again, giving it everything as he always does for Galway, but... Joe they're, Canning, they're, well. going to, they're going to need a couple of goals if they're going to win this game. Well, they got two in the first half, not able to add to it in the second, although they come very, very close. Tommy Welch much happier there in a conventional right half back position. Once Kilkenny went into the more traditional lineup, they had the measure of Galway in this particular game so far. Still time. Jackie Terrell, poor ball from Galway, gives Kilkenny a chance to counter attack. And it is Owen Larkin placing this one down beautifully into the hand of Richie Power. And that's nicely over the bar. It was the quality of the ball coming out to uh, Richie Hogan. And Richie Hogan took it into his hand, turned beautifully, and put it over. Again, pressure on the Kilkenny backs, and it's Noel Hickey now leveling in the opportunity to get an opportunity to shine in this. He played in the Leinster final also against Galway, lost his place after that. Tony O'Gregan back once more. Damien Hayes tussling. And a real pile up there involving Killian Buckley in the red helmet as he tries to kick it forward. Richie Power this time stepped out over the sideline. Ball was in play clearly. It's Richie Hogan, man who got that last point across towards Henry Shefflin, runs on to TJ Reid. Very awkward angle here, trying to make a better angle for himself. Cohen's in front of him, 
and that time it comes back, but it's put in the back of the net brilliantly, and that should be that. Walter Welch, his first ever goal in the championship, coming here in the final, he makes a 2-19 to 2-8, a goal after 58 minutes, a goal and three for Big Walter, and a great day for Kilkenny, TJ Reid initially, turning inside Johnny Cohen, and watch as Flannery, the goalkeeper, got his stick to it, batted it out, only for Big Walter Welch to be right on hand and place it in the back of the Galway net. 11 points between the teams. Yeah, Gerald, you'll have to say, you know, good save again by Fergal Flannery, but didn't get the ball away, and what a debut for Walter Welch, you know, and, and in the, the Kenny full forward line in general. 1-3 for Walter Walsh, 3 points for uh, Richie Hogan, and the two of them have been absolutely outstanding. And Walter Welsh is going off to a huge round of applause. Listen to this. A young star has come of age here. Colin Fennelly comes in in his stead. There's a free to kill Kenny, and it is party time for Henry and the rest, even though he puts this one wide. But uh, they have a lead of 2.19 to 2.8. It's, ha it's, it's obviously very hard to keep Brian Cody happy. Taking, I know he's only bringing on Colin Fenley. You know he's been a, been on the team all year. But Walter Walsh, one three. What a what a game he's after having and making way on. Colin Fenley's going to be hungry now to get his name on the score sheet as well. As David Collins, who'll be bitterly disappointed with the way things have gone, was carrying that through, but there were too many steps taken, and it's going to be a uh, free downfield. I'm sure, people all over the world fascinated by what they are seeing in today's match. And uh, I know Jerry Grogan, who's our PA announcer here has uh, son Dermot watching in Shanghai with his girlfriend Liz and wherever you are around the world, in particular I suppose if you're Kilkenny fans, you are enjoying it. Tony O'Gregan got the last yellow card as this free comes in and this one goes over the bar. They can do absolutely nothing wrong at this stage and Kieran Joyce, the one who got that point, his first ever in the championship. 2.20 to 2.8, what a disappointing day it is for Galway. I think the question I posed at the very beginning, do you get just one shot at a team like Kilkenny? Well, certainly a completely different game today, a different attitude for Kilkenny from the start. Went back to the basics, traditional style, just marked the space in the back line, picked up the man that came around him and just been brilliant from the start. They're coming again, but this time it's a lot.